Hello and welcome to TA Academy. In today's lecture, we'll be designing a voltage limiter circuit using diodes. So what we want to achieve are the input output characteristics like this. So if I plot V out as a function of V in, I want V out to be equal to V in up to a certain value let's say V1 and after this the voltage should be clamped at this value equal to V01 and similarly if I reverse the polarity of the input voltage my output also reverses but after a certain voltage let's say V in 2, the output is also clamped on the negative side to a value equal to minus V naught 2. So this is the circuit that we want to build. And it's very simple. In this lecture, we'll design this circuit and also simulate it using LTSpice. So such a voltage limiter circuit can be built by using just two diodes and two batteries. So this is my input voltage and I connect one diode followed by a battery like this. So let's call this battery EB1 and this diode as D1. And in parallel with this connection, I will connect a diode in the reverse polarity followed by another battery also in the reverse polarity. So this is the negative of the battery and this is the positive. And let's call this battery voltage EB2. So with this circuit, we can achieve such input output characteristics. Now let's try to understand how this circuit operates. Now we know that the diode only conducts when it is forward biased. Thus, if we want D1 to conduct its anode voltage, should be greater than its cathode voltage by a difference of at least equal to the diode on drop. So in other words, when V in minus EB1 is greater than the on drop of diode D1, then we have D1 as forward biased and current will flow in this direction. So this is the first case. So this relation can be simplified as V in greater than EB1 plus the on drop of diode D1. And under this condition, diode D2 will be reverse biased and will be left with a circuit like this. V in in parallel with D1, the series combination of D1 and EB1. So it's easy to see from here that the output V out will be equal to EB1 plus the diode on drop. And this you can see is constant with respect to the input voltage. So we are in this region of the input output characteristics. So V out one we can write as EB1 plus VD on one. Similarly, we can find out another condition that diode D2 
will only conduct when minus e b two minus v in will be greater than the diode on drop only in this condition the diode will be forward biased and current can flow and thus only when v in is less than minus e b2 minus v d on 2 will the circuit start to conduct in this direction and we can draw this circuit like this v in d2 and e b2 in this case as well we are taking the output voltage from here and you can easily see this is equal to minus e b2 minus v d on 2 which is again constant with respect to the input voltage and this is this part of the input output characteristics equal to minus e b2 minus v d on 2 and finally when the input voltage is less than e b1 plus v d1 on and greater than minus e b2 minus v d on 2 then neither of the two diodes are forward biased and the circuit is simply the input voltage source as an open and the output voltage is simply equal to the input voltage so this is this region in between where the output voltage has a linear relation with the input voltage so this is a simple voltage clamping circuit or a voltage limiter circuit so now we will go to lt spice and simulate this circuit and try to plot such an input output characteristic so now i am in lt spice and i have built this circuit so here you can see this parallel combination of diode d1 and eb1 and diode d2 and eb2 for the positive and negative clamping parts of the circuit i have just added this resistance in between so in case if you want to plot the current we can also do that and since we don't want to do a simulation versus time i have parameterized the input voltage so it goes from minus 5 volts to 5 volts in increments of 0 0.01 so let's run this simulation so here as you can see the x-axis is not time which is the usual case in lt spice but here we have our input voltage which is ranging from minus 5 to 5 volts and we are interested in plotting the output voltage which i have labeled as v clipped so i will just move my probe to this point and i'll plot the input output characteristics so you can see the output voltage is linear between minus 3.4 volts to about 1.4 volt and my eb1 is 1 volt and eb2 is minus 3 so if i add a forward voltage drop of 0.4 volt then the input voltage is clipped at minus 3.4 on the negative side and at plus 1.4 at the positive side so that's it it's a simple circuit we have verified that indeed it works in the same way like we analyzed in the theory class so stay tuned to my channel and and i'll see you again bye